Hey folks, Jonathan here. I'm going to work on this uh, Deming steam engine a little bit. I've uh, been waiting and hoping for uh, some brass or bronze to do our slide valves out of, but haven't been able to find any. And uh, hadn't really went anywhere to, to get any, but just checking around with friends of mine and stuff. Uh, nobody's got anything big enough, really. So we're going to try something different. Now I've got one steam engine made out of bronze, one made out of wood, and we're going to make one out of plastic. Now, I have no idea what this plastic is. This is really, it's like a real high density. Uh, I've made other stuff out of it. You can hear it. Almost sounds like, almost sounds like glass. But uh, it's so hard. But uh, I don't see why that won't work. So I'm going to go ahead and cut me two chunks out and get the machining on that and go ahead and get our slide valves made. And uh, if anybody knows what this stuff is, you can tell me this piece here is about, I guess it's about 10 inches wide and probably uh, three and a half foot long. So almost looks like a, I mean, it could be something recycled for stairs or, or something like that, but we're going to, uh, we're going to use it for uh, slide valves anyway. But uh, I'll get the machining on them and show you more shortly. Okay, folks, here's what we started with, just a block, and here's what we ended up with. Uh, as you can see, I got it cupped out in the bottom, and should be ready to go. Uh, we'll do the same as the other, or the last one we've done, the uh, Myers. You know, this is going to slide in there. Excuse me. This is going to slide in there, and uh, we'll cut this off, and that'll be the linkage. Should work out fine, and uh, we'll get another one made here and get it in. So you, if you can see it here, it'll we'll slide pretty good. It, it stuff feels really good against it. So hopefully it won't wear real fast or anything. You know, we'll try to keep all to it and see how it does. But anyway, we'll get another one made, and I'll show you more. Okay, folks, we're back to work on the steam engine, and here's our progress so far. Uh, got both valves made, slide valves, and I guess we can call these D valves too because of the shape of them. And they're both finished up. I've still got to find another 3 8 square nut. I don't know why I can't find one. I should have plenty around, but uh, I'll keep looking until I find it. But now what we've got to do is run these through the wall of the steam chest and I'm actually going to use these bolts as the linkage that's what I did, did on the other pump you know I'll cut them off and then you know have to weld on whatever I end up using but I went down to the old school bus and crawled up under it and found me two more of these fittings and you can see that uh, they're all dirty and stuff but I mean that's they'll clean right up no problem but and if you remember on this engine, you know, that's what we ended up using and worked out really good. And uh, that's what we're going to use on this one too. And the way these work, of course, you know, we take the, uh, the ferrule out. We don't use the ferrule at all. And uh, we put an O-ring back in and then tighten it up and it works, it works really good. I mean, you don't have to tighten it real tight, just enough to get the air off. But the hole size on this, I didn't check it, but you know it's a little under three eighths. And what we do is, is uh, I'm going to ream these out to three eighths, and you know do them good and straight. And then uh, they actually work as a bushing too, because you know you've got a long ways, you know that uh, that they travel down through there. So it really helps out, and you know keeps everything straight. And what that does is keep us from having to run through both sides. And you know, to try to keep our, our slide valve where it needs to be. And uh, so you got to make sure that you get these in good and straight. You know, you bore your holes straight, tap them straight, and then, uh, you know, have them at the right height. And, you know, we'll do, do some measuring and figure out where we need to do it at. And, of course, measuring side to side because we need that, we need the slide valve to cover over our holes good. And uh, we'll get all that done and then, uh, I'll show you show you what it looks like. You know, there's nothing here I see that uh, you know I really need to show you how to do because I mean there's nothing here comp that complicated. But 
Uh, should be able to handle all this, but we'll go ahead and get the uh, get them pieces in, and then I'll show you what it looks like, and uh, that way we can go ahead and get started on building our linkage and you know our uh, eccentrics for the timing, and you know that's it's going to be you know a pretty good job doing all that. So I'll show you more as I go. Okay, folks, we've got our valves in. And I'll pull this cover off. And you can see there. And uh, got the pieces in that go through for the, I guess you could call them the, uh, the guides and also for the seals. Hold the packing. But uh, I hadn't cut these off yet. But, you know, this is basically how it works. Just slides back and forth. Pretty simple. And, uh... You know, we'll do all the fine tuning and adjusting when we get done and things will work out just fine. Got to get started on our linkage. What we'll do is the same as we did on the other one. And, uh, well, let me explain first on these valves in case anybody don't uh, know how this works. Uh, you know, I, I mentioned in the other video, but you may not be watching it in the, the other engine I built, but... As the air pressure comes in this this uh, steam chest, it actually holds down on these valves, and uh, it holds down good and tight. So that that's what seals them around the bottom. And you know we'll clean it all up and lap it in and get it good and ready to you know go before we finish up the the engine. But uh, they're going to work fine. That'll hold them down and uh, shouldn't have any trouble there. You know, they're, they're good and smooth on the bottom. They'll seat good. I don't know how well they're going to wear. Uh, we'll see. But uh, what we're going to do is make our linkage. And after we get the linkage done, we'll measure the linkage to see how far we need it to move. And that will give us an idea on our eccentric, how far we need to, to offset the hole in it. If we need this to move, you know, a full inch back and forth. And I'm not saying this part. I'm saying where our eccentric hooks to our linkage rod if we needed to move an inch then we'll offset the whole half inch and uh, but coming up with linkage for you know for two two son or two valves is going to be a little rougher than than it was on you know the the other one but we'll come up with something not a problem and uh, one thing about this engine too I know you know steam and plastic I don't think they would probably not go together too well but uh, something a little bit different about this I'm not going to run this on air and uh, I may you know start out that way but I'm not going to run it on air and I'm not going to run it on uh, on steam I'm going to run this on something else and uh, I'm, gonna go, I'm not going to tell you what it is and or how I'm going to run it but uh, you, you'll definitely like it and I want you to be a little surprise for you at the end of the video so but I'll get some more done on it and post another update soon till next time bye